Hey, hey, hello, fellow comic book worms. How are you guys? This is now, man. Welcome to my channel. I have a special guest today for just a random hangout, but I want to, you know, give him a little intro and stuff. So, uh, and hopefully, I, I could do this more like this in the future. Let me see if I could pull up the intro here. So, before I bring him on, it, it was a quick intro, so forgive me. Here you go. I should have just keep on adding you there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to add you right, right. The video's playing. It's still playing. <laughs> yeah. Hello. We'll, yeah, we'll, 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 just, uh, we'll decide that. <laughs> Cheers, bud. What are you drinking? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So, what's going on, Will? If, if, do I uh, got that right? No. Oh yeah. Cop, hmm. Copy AK Capo Comics or Will. Okay, not Willie. Because sometimes call I call me Willie you too. Willie. Okay. <laughs> sometimes I call you Willie, so so, so that's okay. Yeah. That's good. A lot of people called me Willie in uh in school, so yeah. <laughs> elementary school, high school. Uh, actually, not high school. Junior high was probably the last time somebody called me Willie. Uh, my my aunt calls me Willie. And uh, my grandmother called me Willie. So, eh. yeah, okay, all right, that's good. Good. <laughs> let's hide to some. Let's hide to some of the people here. Of course, uh, Las Cruces is always Las Cruces from New Mexico, and then uh, and Matt from Comic Fair the Bay. I don't know what identity that he brings along there, but uh, then oh, we got somebody named Couple Comic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, that warm, warm's here too. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, thanks for showing up, all you guys. Uh, we just should we're gonna just shoot the bull, talk about Heroes Con, uh, past it and the future, right. and what kind of thing that you know really clicks, uh, and uh, how we met. Yeah, how we met. That's yeah, that's you know what. Um, before we go deep into that, I know that was a really short intro, but uh, mm -hmm. what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to talk to all the Heroes Con, you know, people I met, you know, invite them. I did it with the Talax about a month ago, <laughs> and then I've been putting it off. <laughs> so, I, and I don't know if I'll be able to do this, you know, for next next person. Uh, CJ is supposed to help me, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, personal things happen. Life happens, you know, so. Anyway, so I'm going to play a little clip that uh, I did an interview on. Basically, I was going to bring everybody that I did interview on, but uh, then I decided to make a video instead. But here, anyway, here's a, let me see if I could present a clip here. Uh, share a screen, share a screen, entire screen here with the audio on. Let me see. There you go. Let's see. You saw a part, part of it. So let's see. Well, get that out of there. <laughs> man with the man with the loyalty of a loyalty of what? Pigeon. Pigeon? No, no. Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are they solitary beasts? I think they were like how to do their own thing. I don't want to say dogs. Dogs are pretty loyal. They are really loyal. Yeah, dogs are pretty loyal. I mean, I mean, I'd like to be a dog. You could be a dog. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stop you. Tell me who you are. This is not man, and this is Kappa. Oh, Kappa. Kappa comments. That looks. That's that's that. What's your thing, man? What is your thing? I can't even compete no, I mean, how horrible that is. We say, hey, this is me. What, what is you? Oh, I'm a dog. Huh? Dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> dog. Any dog. Any dog. <laughs> it's not a hot dog. <laughs> dog. Dolphin? Is it hot dog too? Much? <laughs> they call him Flapper. Flapper. <laughs> They are smart. Yeah. Smart and playful. And they play, and they play and mischievous. And they are mischievous. Wolves are. Wolves are. Green with everything. Yeah. 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 Yes. Wolves like rolling the packs. I actually went to a wolf sink earlier. Yeah. And a wolf like grabbed me by the shoulder. It was like, you're my friend. And I was like, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf is good. Oh, yeah. They know him behind. It's true. Yeah, so that's, that's what happened yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope uh, uh, I don't know if uh, people understand what's behind that. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Will. Explain Funny. what's behind that. <laughs> Let me see if I can remove that. The loyal wolf. Loyal wolf. How how is my loyal wolf today? I'm good. It was, you know, I talked about the uh, the wolf grabbing me by my shoulder. And yeah. Until you meet a wolf in the in the wild, I don't think you'll understand how scary that is. Like the paw is the size of your face, and you just look over, and it's this giant paw, and you're like, and it's like pulling you back this way, and you turn and look, and it's kind of smiling, but they got those long <laughs> teeth, and like, and you're like, they're gonna eat me. <laughs> But the guy was like, "No, no, it's fine." He's like, "It's okay. It's it, it, the wolf's not gonna eat you." And then, um, and then he wouldn't let me take the pictures home of the wolf pulling me because <laughs> it looked like he was trying to eat me. <laughs> Why won't they let you take the picture home? Uh, because they didn't. I guess they didn't want me to have a picture of a wolf like grabbing me and like mm. and pulling me. I guess they thought it was bad. Uh, uh, pub bad. Pub. Um, a PR bad PR yeah, bad PR. So I was uh. like. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I was like, I'm still alive. So it didn't eat yeah. me. So, yeah. I, if you like to tell a story, I mean, you know, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I could draw, draw you while I'm having conversation. I don't know if I could do yeah. that right now. And, and, so, I mean, I have and, and drink. Like <laughs> right? Huh? So, I mean, I have to talk like this and not, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Cool. So, no, that's very cool. I'm 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 looking forward to it. I'm interested because uh, Naman's really good at drawing. Uh, he gave me a. Uh, ooh, I think did I, I have give you a drawing? Did I give you a drawing? I wouldn't know if I give you a drawing or not. Yeah, you gave me a a, uh, a trooper from Star Wars. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, then I'm not doing this then. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a little one. Okay. Okay. It was, it was the card. And I asked you for Daredevil, and you gave me a, a trooper. <laughs> okay. I asked for Daredevil, and I give you a trooper. I had it around here. I know it's around here. I've been trying to clean up, but you ever clean? And like, the more you clean, the dirtier things get because you start moving everything around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. It's like a, you have to you have to storm through it before it actually gets cleaned. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Oh. I like it when people have glasses because it's a little easier to easier to start. Do the uh, the eyes? <laughs> yeah, do the eyes and stuff. You know, because they give you the they give you the what do you call it? Starting point, frame of reference. Uh, yeah, frame of reference. That's it. Frame of yeah. reference. Yeah. That. So. I know I got this card here around here somewhere. You know what's gonna happen is we're gonna finish the show and then I'll find it. So tell tell them how we met, man. So we met at uh we met at Heroes Con. 
Um, so this is a pleasant, warm stream with it. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> hey, brother John. Uh, we met at Heroes Con. Um, so I heard that, that Naman was coming. And um, <laughs> I think I was with CJ. I was with Matt. Hey, brother John. And uh, <laughs> and um, probably Roscoe was around. Yeah, Roscoe was around. Yeah, yeah, Roscoe. Yeah, not on Tinder. No, not on Tinder. <laughs> there was a couple of I us mean, around. Yeah, it would have been swipe left, right? <laughs> <laughs> if, if we met on Tinder. All right, but it was um, what day was that? Was this Saturday? Right, you came on Saturday. Uh, I think it was Friday, I think. Friday or was it Friday night? Late Friday night, right? Yeah, because that was the day we all um we had like a get together. Yeah. So uh, at the brew brew house or brew whatever. Um, so anyway, we're sitting there and uh, I don't think I'm gonna go to that place again though. That one? Yeah. What was the? I think the other place wasn't that great. The uh, the cigar bar. That's that's the place. I think that's where we ended up meeting you. Was at the cigar bar. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, group. I'm talking about the. Yeah, that I'm talking about where we, I met. I don't know where you guys went before that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, CJ was like, "Naman's coming," and we're like, "Cool." And then it was like, "Have you heard from Naman?" He's like, "No." And then. Uh, Eventually, I turn around and and Naman's there, but it turns out that uh, I guess your phone died, <laughs> so you ended up missing uh, North Carolina and drove to South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's how CJ tells it. But uh... and then Comics by the Bay says you actually drove to Florida before you drove back to South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I drove to Florida and met uh, the the what's comic. Comic by the bay, you know the cousin was the, the cousin he has. Oh, um, what's his? Oh, wow, well, I'm drawing a blank too. What's uh, Matt? What's your cousin's name? <laughs> With the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, no, I, man. He, you guys, you guys always bring that up, but it's a border city. It's, it's all I Marlboro Matt. Marlboro Matt, yeah, Marlboro Matt, yeah, that's it. But it's it's a border city. You guys are making it out a little bit, you know, little, <laughs> you guys making it out a little bit, you know, worse than it is, right? It's like you drove, uh... city. It's a, <laughs> like I drove across the state or something, you know. I just, <laughs> I, I just went to freaking next city. I mean, it's not that bad. Drove, drove six hours in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making it up really bad. I mean, yeah. make it sound like I missed the whole state when I just only missed, <laughs> missed the city. Right? And it's no, not that big of a city either. I it's mean, not. It's it's pretty pretty small. The convention center makes up uh, most of it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. um... Yeah, Marlboro Matt showed up. He said, "How dare you forget me, Naman?" <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, Matt says, uh, "It was two states." <laughs> he said, "He drove me." <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but anyway, Naman made it. Sorry, we had some beers. We had a good time. We had some food. We went out that night. Uh, that picture on on the thumbnail was from that night. Uh, yeah, we talked a lot about comics. I think I slept. I fell asleep at some point. <laughs> fell asleep in my biscuits and gravy. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I met, I met uh, Willie in a state of in, what do you call it? Uh, well, not, not in a sober state. How's that? Yeah. A little inebriated, inebriated. A little inebriated state. <laughs> yes. I was a little inebriated. Um, some would say I was wrecked. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I mean, uh, sometimes uh, I, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to promote alcoholism or anything like that, right? But uh, sometimes when you pe meet people in a liberate, 
liberated state, is that what you call it? Yeah. Yeah, so when you see the, you meet them in that state, uh, you, you find that genuine person inside, you know? Right. Yeah, so yeah. people are a little more opened up. Yeah, right. So when, yeah, when you're uninhibited. Is yeah, uninhibited I mean? and opened up, show your genuine self rather than, I mean, not that, you know, not refined self, you know, not right. something that you want to, <laughs> you want to present, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not very presentable yourself, right? When you're right, saying, you don't want to go on a job interview like that, but <laughs> right. When you're when you're hanging out with uh, friends or peers or something, it's it's okay sometimes. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. I, you don't I, get carried I away. I don't want to promote the uh, alcoholism or anything like that. Some people could become alcoholic and stuff. So right, but uh, yeah, and, and uh, no, I'm more of a social drinker too. So if I know I'm with a crowd of people, then I'll drink more. If I'm by myself, I usually don't drink that that much or drink at all. Honestly, I'm not a a big. Uh, single drink drink by yourself person so I, you, I i have a nightcap and stuff but yeah you know every once in a while yeah it's not bad to have one one or two but yeah but that's how we met and then uh the next day i think is kind of when the video happened and so that day that day uh was interesting a lot of people were banged up but woke up in the morning and and we went had still had a great time met so many cool people met brother john um that day too um yeah i mean there was a lot of people hang, hung out with uh comics by the bay hung out with roscoe um who else um there were actually a lot of people I'm trying to think who else we hung out with um poke and joe yeah well yeah poke and joe uh, that's the night before we met him yeah cj Okay, and Joe was there the day on on the next day too. He was just very. I think he was worse off than I was that day, so he's working walking around a little bit. Well, the, the, that's that's the what, what why I say I didn't want to go to that particular bar because yeah, uh, what happened? They, they were like a, they wanted to kick us out rather than try to be helpful. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And, and so. That's why I didn't want to go to that bar again. Yeah, that was um, yeah, that was the second bar we went to. So the first bar we went to early in the night was actually really, really nice and helpful. They put out a lot of food for us. Um, you know, uh, they had some good drinks and stuff. And then the second bar wasn't that great. It was uh, I think it was like a jazz club or something like that, cigar bar slash jazz club or something. Mm. But. Yeah, it wasn't the best. And then we went to a diner. That was pretty good. Cool. I didn't know they had diners in uh, North Yeah, Carolina. right across the bar. Right across the bar. We had a breakfast there. Yeah. Sober up breakfast. We tried to sober up in the breakfast. Right. I believe in food. You know, you got to have food with your drinks. Right. No, if you drink on an empty stomach, you're just asking for, for a bad time. Yeah. So it's not, it's not going to be. Not going to be a great time, but no, it was a really cool opportunity to meet everybody. So that was cool. And then the next day, like we all, we all hung out. So, oh yeah, Digger, uh, I forgot to mention with brother John, I met Digger Jim. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, okay. I got to see the bird. I actually interviewed them, to, I interviewed them as well. In the, in yeah. The Remy Q was there, Angel, Rob, obviously, uh, uh, who else was there? Oh well, any everybody from the uh, from uh, the uh, Link Squad and uh, the Illuminati. So DJ Links, uh, Nick's Kicks and Comics, Remy Q. So those guys were there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna draw your head is easier than the. I mean the the thing you got on. That's easier to draw. Here's here's what I got, yeah, here's what I got so far. Cool. I mean, you want this hat? <laughs> no, no, no! I don't want that hat. <laughs> uh, you already have that hat on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here you go. So that's update so far. Cool. That looks very cool. Yeah. I, I put a whoop in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there were a lot of cool people at. Uh... And then the next day was cool because we got to hang out and actually talk like normal, 
normal people. I know you went to go get. Uh, you were hanging out, I think, with. What well, you were on the same line with CJ, right? To go see Chris, uh, Chris Claremont. Uh, no, you went before. before. Yeah, I, I was waiting by myself at Chris Claremont. Chris Claremont. And, yeah, because. Uh, so who yeah. who'd you who you get your artwork done? I mean, did you get signature books or what was your main goal to going to these places? Yeah, so what I. Yeah, so this year I might focus on trying to get some original artwork, but last year I didn't do any uh, original artwork. Um, last year I got signatures. Um, so I did uh, like Scotty Young. Um, I did, I stopped by Chris Claremont's booth, uh, but he had a long line. Um, yeah, yeah. He, 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 and he, I mean, he would, I mean, it's nice that he would talk to people. Mm hmm. But not if he's talking to somebody else. Not, right. <laughs> it's only nice if he's talking to me. <laughs> well, yeah. Where if you're you like the, you know, the twentieth person online, and he's giving everybody, you know, everybody ten twenty minutes, it's, it takes a while. You know, two hours later, you're still online. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's like uh, I've got a place to go, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I got I close know. to Jim Starenko, but I didn't talk to him. I wasn't gonna give him fifty dollars. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I got, I got, uh, I got two, two books. It cost me hundred dollar to talk to that dude, and then I actually bought a couple posters too. So. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Not that I don't want to give him, you know, my money. It's just I don't really have any like big Starenko books. If I had like you know, uh, Nick Fury book or something that I want to sign, that I'd, I'd probably. Yeah, I, I had some Nick Fury book that I got from my childhood days. So. Nice. So, so yeah, that's I mean that's worth it. You know, and I speak yeah. I spoke to some of the original guys, so um like Joel Rubenstein. Do you have um, hair I, in the back? Do I have hair in the back? You got mullet in the back? No, I, I have like a oh I usually put it into a bun. Okay, <laughs> But yeah, I got a I can tell you if we got a <laughs> And if I'm gonna put a neck in there, or yeah, yeah, I ended up uh, getting. So I, I spoke to Michael Golden. Oh, and that, okay, let me put you back. There, <laughs> and I got this. Uh, it's like a George Washington pop calendar. I should put it up because it's going to waste. But he he did a lot of the artwork and and it's like and I actually didn't get this at HeroCon at Heroes Con I talked to him at um, Heroes Con and then I bumped into him at New York Comic Con. Oh okay. And then I bought like a he had like a mystery mystery pack. It was like twenty bucks and it came with like comics and stuff and posters and so. Mm. You, uh, you, go, you, go, you go to a lot of cons then. You go to New York Con and... I've been to three bigger cons and then I go to like smaller stuff in the New York area. Um, but I've been to New York Comic Con. I've been to Heroes Con. I've been to C2E2. You know, uh, I might try to go to like Baltimore Con or uh, um, Mega Con in Orlando. I might try to do those in the future yeah. wow so we'll see um but I yeah i think how long have you been doing that you've been doing that all, i mean going to cons yeah. um the smaller one well new york comic con i first went to i think 10 years ago so and uh the reason i went to new york comic con was uh, a buddy of mine his friend had a booth at New York Comic Con. So he asked me if I wanted to go. And I was like, sure, I'll go. Um, I was like, how much are tickets? And then he was like, oh, no, my friend has the the um, retailer tag oh, okay. yeah. passes. So he was like, he'll just get us in. <laughs> so I was like, oh, sweet. So I went and I got the guy's pass. And then I was supposed to like buy him lunch that day. And I was like so enamored. I got lost in the con and I kept the guy's pass and I brought it back the next day. But I was like, sorry about that. 
<laughs> and I brought him some. Uh, I brought him breakfast, and then oh, I was okay. going to bring lunch again, uh, and then I, I didn't bring lunch again. <laughs> so then the third day I came back, and then I got him breakfast and lunch. But then the next year came, and he was like, "You can't have a pass. You didn't bring it." <laughs> <laughs> You're not so loyal after all. <laughs> He's like, you didn't bring me lunch, so. You so anyway, that <laughs> that year, um, I hadn't bought a pass, but a buddy of mine was like, I can't go, so he's like, I'll sell it to you. So I was like, okay, cool. So I bought his pass, and I went that year. Uh, and then the third year, I went to the Brooklyn Brewery, in, in uh, you know, in uh, Brooklyn, and they had a. Uh, uh, like a, a, a contest. Mm. So you had to take a bottle of beer while you were there and then post on Instagram, like the bottle of beer being a superhero. Mm -hmm. So I had like a superhero mask and I had like a little cape or a napkin I tied around as a cape and I kept putting it like by people, but I made it look like it was helping them somehow, you know? And I was taking those pictures and posting them to Instagram and I ended up winning uh, a case of beer. And... What kind uh, of beer? And a, it was Brooklyn Defender. So they used to make, they used to be the official beer of New York Comic Con. Mm. Um, they haven't done it in a couple of years. I think since the pandemic, they stopped making it. Mm. Um, but I ended up winning the contest and I got a four day pass to New York Comic Con for free. So that, that was like the third year. Cool. I, yeah. Uh, fourth year, I won a, I was at this place called the, Brew Authority. It's by Port Authority in, in uh, New York City. And I won a raffle. So the fourth year I went, I won a raffle to go. Um, so the first four years I went to New York Comic Con, I don't think I actually paid for a ticket, which was wow. pretty nice. Wow. Yeah. And then like the last six years I have, but I've, I've, I've found out uh, year... I guess it was year five or six. I found out that if you work for um, like education kind of setting, so I work in uh, I work at a at a university. Oh yeah, yeah. And I for a, I still teach, but I, for a long time I taught design, like lighting and stage design. Oh yeah, yeah. So I this camera oh, I just want that there there. Um, yeah, so I taught design. So I you know I. Um, I got in contact with with New York Comic Con people and was like, I'm an educator and I teach design and you know I use the color palettes of of the artists and stuff like that and I, you know I, I told them like I do you you are an artist I am a designer not an artist I'm not a not a very good artist um, I, I've drawn some stuff um, but I'd say I'm, I'm more of a graphic designer if you will or a uh, I can design with lights. You know, you give me a lot of lights and I can make stuff look. Oh, like, like what you got in the background? Yeah, that's that's not even that good. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can. That's, that's kind of my uh, my forte. Your yeah, forte, cool. So yeah, but in putting pen to paper or pencil to paper, I'm I'm not great. You know, I've done a few headshots. I've done Spider Man and uh, Carnage. I did like a whole series of. Um, Spider-Man stuff. I wish I could find it. Eh, it's not going to be tonight because I have no idea where it is. I would break out some of my my drawings. I, I, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm drawing in front of others. That's a now you're giving me pressure now. <laughs> Dang it! I, but uh, yeah, so I found out you can get um, the tickets. You still pay for the tickets, but they're like discounted. So I've been going as a uh, with the what they call an educator pass or a pro pass for like the last six years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in the old days, New York Comic Con, you could only get onto the floor on Thursdays if you had like a pro pass or a exhibitor pass. Or if you got like the four day pass, you could, you know, come for like half a day. Because Thursday used to just be for professionals. So it was like how they networked. Um, and then Thursday just became a regular day at New York Comic Con. They just opened it to everybody. You just have to pay for the extra day. So uh, you've, been, uh, you've been like a gaming, 
having some like a discount con for a while. Yeah, you're not, you're not getting discount con here, right? No, uh, no. For so for Heroes Con, I actually I paid for the um, the VIP badge for that one. So oh. I didn't even look to see if Heroes Con had some any kind of like discounted, you know, um, for educators. Yeah, educators or you know people in the business. I didn't I didn't actually look at it, but uh, last year the VIP pass was a hundred dollars. Which wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, this yeah. year it went up actually to like hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's a huge, huge. Yeah, it went up. You know, almost you know fifty dollars. It went up half. Of what I think they had to give us credit for us, us YouTubers, for making that place really big. <laughs> right. Um, interesting thing, as a YouTuber, you can apply for a. Um, a pro pass to New York Comic Con doesn't mean you'll get it, but you can say I have a YouTube channel. I am, yeah. you know, uh, I'm uh, an influencer, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, well, yeah. And uh, you know, and if they approve it, they approve it, and you can mm -hmm. get in on that pass. But yeah, so I spend 150 bucks, but the, you do get a couple of things with the VIP pass. Um, the bigger thing is, or the biggest thing is, you get on the floor thirty minutes earlier than everybody else. It's not a huge advantage, but if you're looking for to grab a certain book that's rare, you can get to that booth. Or if you're looking for an autograph from somebody like uh, Daniel Warren Johnson or uh, Chris Claremont or um, Scotty Young, any of the the bigger names these days. Um, it, you can get on the line pretty fast and like Thanks, hello christine so that's yeah. that's one of the uh i guess one of the perks of getting a vip you also get like a lanyard but last year the lanyard was like so oversized <laughs> it made me feel funny wearing it it was just like this is too big so you think well you, you figure out what reference i'm using yeah <laughs> 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 Don't forget, it says gem mint. <laughs> oh, you want me to put gem mint in there? Oh my gosh! And, and it's right. sparkly. Don't forget the, the shiny. <laughs> you got to foil. You got to make it foil. <laughs> Dang it! I knew I was. I knew I was in front of others and designer that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so precious on me now. Oh man! You know the uh, the worst part about New York Comic Con. Um, not New York Comic Con, sorry, going to Heroes Con because Heroes Con is far away from me, right? I'm in New York, it's in North Carolina, is traveling there. Um, so last year I did a road trip, so the mm -hmm. con is three days, but I actually spent five days traveling. Like, first day I drove halfway, I think I drove all the way to um Maryland, uh, like past Baltimore, past the city, um, in like near DC, uh, past DC actually, and then um. I stayed overnight, and then the next day, I finished my journey, checked in, whatever. Actually, no, sorry. I left on a Wednesday, now that I think about it, because the convention was on Friday. I left on Wednesday. I slept <coughs> Wednesday into Thursday, and then Thursday, I continued my trip to North Carolina. That way, on Friday morning, I could be um, you know, at the con on time. So. And Did then we start at Thursday in the Heroes Con? Uh, Heroes Con starts on Friday, but I got I checked in on Thursday. Um, uh, well, so you didn't do anything on Thursday? No, I checked in and oh, actually Thursday night before the con, everybody got together to watch the Flash. That's right, right, thing. right. Yeah, you guys did something. something That's right. Amazing. So we went to the movie theater. Yeah. I think DJ DJ Links. Uh, yeah, right he now. organized that. That was amazing how he did that. Yeah, that was great. So that yeah. was a really good time. Um, so that's what, and then uh, I think uh, Tylock, CJ, and somebody else went out that night. Like after the movie, a lot of us just went back to the, our rooms, and those, oh. and CJ, Tylock, and somebody else went out, and I don't know, they they had a good time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll leave they, it. 
Yeah, they they took me to a strip bar, and, <laughs> and I go, man, come on, you guys, the strip bars are, it's so out of it's so out of fashion anymore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. It, CJ says you asked for the uh, the senior citizen discount. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys give senior citizen discount? Everybody laughs. <laughs> they will charge you twenty bucks for entry fee, man. Come Jeez. On. Sometimes if you can make the bouncer laugh, they'll let you in. So that was a good. <laughs> that was a good shot. That was a good try. <laughs> that was a good try. Um, but yeah, traveling laugh. is probably the hardest part of Vero's convention for me. We're anyway. gonna, yeah, we're gonna. Me and uh, Roger's gonna drive there coming. Yeah. Yeah, coming Heroes Con, but uh, that was fun. Yeah, last week I was on a show with Roger. It was fun. What, what do you guys do? Uh, that was uh, Psychotronic uh, Squirt Guns uh, stream last Wednesday. That was the one where I was like, "Oh, uh, Naman asked me to be on his stream, and I'm on your stream instead." <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you dog. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should call you dog instead of. Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I made time. Um, yeah, so I, I think I'm going to road trip it again this year, honestly. I'm going to drive from New York to North Carolina. Um, oh. Yeah, the, the big thing is um, mostly I want to carry, and this, this year I have more time, I want to carry books that I want, you know, autographs on and stuff like that. Okay. And when you take a flight, you know, um, you know, your suitcases, I guess you're driving down if you want to come by my house and then we could drive together if you want. We could uh do that. What, where are you again? Uh, I mean, like DC. DC. Oh, so yeah. I passed you on the way. Uh, because I think, uh, I think Brother John and um, Digger Jim are in like Maryland too. Yeah, yeah, Brother John. I mean, uh, I think Br Brother John's in uh, uh, was the capital of uh, Virginia, uh, oh, Rich, uh, Richmond, Richmond, I Richmond? think. Virginia, yeah, yeah but, Virginia, uh, Maryland. Uh, yeah, but uh, Digger Jam is in the Maryland. I, I need to go see yeah. him. Soon. Yeah. So we could we could do that. I could. Uh, we could call for you if you want. Yeah. Because Roger Roger is going to come by. Cool. Roger is going to come by and. Uh, so yeah, yeah we can. Do I get to I get to you and then uh, we continue on from there. <laughs> yeah. I have an SUV, so there's a plenty of room. Oh, nice books and stuff. Where are you staying at? Uh, you know, I haven't booked my room yet. I usually do. Um, oh, you did do the Airbnb. So last year yeah, I did, did I did Airbnb. It wasn't too bad. I was less than. I think I was like a three quarter miles away. So more, a little bit more than half a mile away from the convention center, but it was a nice walk. It was like, I left where I was. I made a left, a right, a left. And then I just kept walking straight mm. and I got right to the convention center and big streets, you know, no worrying about, you know, there was no foot traffic. I was actually confused my first day there because I'm walking to the convention center at like 8 AM in the morning. And it's like a work day. And I saw like two or three people on the yeah. street. Yeah. And I was just like, something you, happened. You, you, I thought something was wrong. You, you're from New York, right? So you, yeah. you don't know, you don't understand how Midwest or any of the southern state work. We don't have a, we don't have foot traffic. People drive to places. Right. Yeah. So, I was I was very confused by the the lack of of people on the streets. I thought I was like in the zombie apocalypse or something. You know, The Walking Dead. Hey, hey, Brian! Brian, basketballs. What's up? Hey, Kelly Comics. What's up, guys? <laughs> so, yeah, um, we, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to write that Jim Mint down there, dude. No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you just put some scribble. <laughs> yeah, just put some line there. <laughs> no, nah, that's that's funny. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, no, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to, I think there's going to be more people there this year than last year. So that should be pretty insane. Um, yeah. What do you oh, got? You say you got some books. What, anything significant last year as far as the book is concerned? 
that I got at the convention or that I brought to get signed. Um, signature wise, it was nothing too crazy. Um, I did get a pretty cool. Well, oh, Hickman was there last year, Jonathan Hickman. So that was cool. I got some X Men books signed by him, but I got this pretty cool uh, Scotty Young. Mm. It's like sketchbook daily grind he calls it uh and he signed it um that's his like signature now it's just scribbles <laughs> so i was gonna draw a wolf in, right by your shoulder uh-huh uh how does a paw look right there i was gonna put it ah. to... put it right Should... there yeah let's do it yes So basically, Scotty Young starts off by doing a sketch every day. So this is like his first book of like sketches he was doing. So, and he's a he's an interesting artist. Pretty good. Um, he did the one that sold me. I have to see if I can find it. He did an animal, an animal sketch. And I'm a big fan of the uh, the Muppets. So did uh, Calvin and Hobbes. I don't know if you know those guys. Yeah, no, uh, my kid has a huge book on the Calvin and Hobbes. And Bone. If I can uh, ben, find books. ben Compton is here. Hey, Ben Compton. What's up? Hey, Ben. Straight out of Compton. Uh, let's see. Oh, a lot like this. Even Death looks cute. Like that's Lady Death. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, DC version of Death. But where is Animal? Oh, Darkwing Duck for you, uh, Darkwing Duck fans. <laughs> <laughs> and Earthworm, Earthworm Jim. But yeah, I find I find Gotti's work to be pretty cool. He actually had the. Uh, so, you know, they did an auction of art, and his art piece was, like, the highest grossing auction piece. Here's his animal sketch. Oh, cool. Animal draw. Pretty good anchor, isn't he? Yeah. He does his own, his own pencils, and I think he does his own ink. But um, his artwork, he did uh, Miles and Spot, and it was two pieces. Mm -hmm. And so Spot is like punching through one of his holes and he's punching Miles in the face. And uh, I forget the exact value of the uh, or how much it went for, but it definitely went for like over five grand. It might have been closer to six or seven thousand dollars. Holy cow. Yeah. And that was for uh, for charity. So they do like a charity auction. They have uh, all this artwork and they ask the artists. I don't even know if they ask the artists. The artists just donate. They like if you want to donate art. Roscoe put a piece into the charity too oh yeah mm -hmm. that's you um i think roscoe roscoe's piece probably went for like uh i don't know you gotta ask roscoe but i think it may have gone for like 20 to 40 bucks something like that so but hmm. and i think the previous year scotty young's piece went for around somewhere between three thousand and five thousand dollars too so he really he does really good work, and it goes it it sells for a really high price. Yeah. All right, designer, should I make a bigger or smaller <laughs> wolf? No, that the wolf was huge. So whatever size you make the wolf, that wolf looks good. That's a good size. That's a good size. You want me to make a bigger? Nah, you can keep it at that size. I don't want to. I don't want to relive the moment of how big the wolf. Actually <laughs> That thing was big. It was big and smiley. Oh, you know what else you get with the Heroes Con VIP badge? You get a um, a t-shirt. Mm. You get a tote bag, a t-shirt, and you get a print. I have to print somewhere. I think I'm going to make it bigger. I just want to right. scale the shit out of you. <laughs> make it bigger. Make it bigger. All right. Um. Oh, hold on.
So this is a poster I got from New York Comic Con when uh, I got that beer. This is one of 100, but they did like these art posters, and this is you know Brooklyn, New York Comic Con when they were the official beer. Mm -hmm. Beer. What's cool about this one is this superhero has a Nintendo controller as part of their their costume. Cool. So cool. yeah, this was from that. Hey, 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 E-Man, how are you, sir? E-Man, yeah, what's the best cup of noodles there is? The best cup of noodles? I am a shrimp cup of noodle guy. <laughs> I think they do a spicy shrimp now. You a ramen guy? Uh, I used to eat a lot of ramen. I mean, I was in college mm -hmm. at one point. <laughs> well, uh, you, you sort of had to do it. Yeah. This I got at uh, Heroes Con, but they were, because they were promoting the uh, Cross the Spider-Verse movie while we were there. So I picked that up. Here's the uh, promotional poster from Heroes Convention. They had a few of these lying around, so I grabbed one of the promotional posters. Oh, yeah, I picked that up. Yeah, somebody was like a, uh, somebody was like a, getting signature on that poster. Oh yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's a cool I, idea. I, I thought about doing that. Then uh, first person I, I try, they want a twenty dollar for it. Signature. <laughs> I'm going okay. Fuck it, I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't want to pull back and say, oh, don't worry about it. So, all I got is one signature on it, and I said, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I mean, I'm not going to pay for 20 bucks for pop. I'm just, And they think I'm just going to go over there, and uh, I guess they think I'm going to sell it and shit. But, uh, right. Uh, That's cool. Um, And then this was the uh, one of the uh, – this was for the VIP pass. This is Alan David. Mm. Alan Davis. Um, Davis, not David. Uh, the cool thing about this, this was limited to 400. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this says 01. So I got the the Very first, first one, one? They, the first one they numbered. <laughs> wow, that's a, awesome. Yeah, out of 400. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a, a cool little little thing I got from New York, uh, from Heroes Con. I keep saying New York Comic Con. That was Heroes Con. So we would you like New York Con better than Heroes Con? Why keep on mentioning New York Con? Because I've been there for ten years straight. Oh, <laughs> it was the it was that that was my gateway drug into cons was uh, New York Comic Con. Now the first time I went, it was crazy because um, I didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of I like comics, but I really wasn't collecting like like I do now. Um, I had actually stopped collecting for a while, and Probably between New York Comic Con and Batman, Scott Snyder's Batman, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's Batman. That's kind of, I think, what got me back into collecting more hardcore. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I, you know what? It, if you like, I like New York Comic Con for one, it's in New York. <laughs> and uh, two, it's, if you like, comic adjacent stuff so you know if you like the video games and the movies and all that stuff then it's cool if you want to see celebrities you want to sit in a panel that's what makes new york comic con cool what makes hero con heroes con different and what makes it cool in its own right and worth driving you know 16 hours or whatever i actually it's a little less than 16 but it's probably more like 13 hours um is it's all about the comics and the comic creators. Yeah. And it's not really, there's no, there is no pop culture. It's, it's comics. Yeah. And just comics, right? So comics and arts and comics art. Yeah. There's very few other things. I mean, there are other things. People have pins and cards and stuff like that, but it's really 95% is just comics. And it's just pure. And they have a few panels, but all the panels are just comic creators. It's not like what movie's coming out or, you know, what kids show, what's the new video game. It's just all about comics. So that's what makes Heroes Con really cool. And then everybody who shows up there. So 
you know, the, the comic community decided that Heroes Con was the place to be. And it's really not not a bad not a bad place. I, like I took the same elevator with Jim Starenko. So you know, yeah. I, didn't, I, I didn't have to pay fifty dollars to get on, you know, the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, just tell him I'm an elevator operator, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to sign this so you can ride the elevator. And then, then, and, and uh, you know, go like this up on the tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, you're uh, allowed to tip the elevator operator. <laughs> he had a pretty huge, uh, I guess, security guy with him. The guy was pretty big. He's not a very big man, so I guess. I think the guy he was next to made him seem like even smaller because this dude was like jacked. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. So, but the, the creators who are there, I think is what makes it the fun. And then the guys, you know, you meet. So like Legion of Comics, Mark was there too. Um, Rob, I've mentioned him a few times was there. So there was some cool, some cool people. And actually going to the movie, actually, now that I remember, I seen The Flash. I showed up a little late. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I got I got in and I wanted to go to my room and then I cooked myself dinner. So I settled in. Oh, uh, then you had to walk over there too, didn't you? Yeah. And then, uh, well, well, for the movie theater, actually, I drove because I had my car. So I just drove. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh, I think I missed one of my turns and that's what it made me a little late. Oh, well, at least you didn't miss the whole state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the movie hadn't even started yet. It's just everybody had gone inside and I didn't have a ticket. Yeah. So I had to like, you know, uh, text uh, DJ. And then uh, actual Dracula was outside. So actual Dracula was there and he had a, a paper bag with a bottle. <laughs> and he's like, you want some? And I was like, I'm good. I was like, I don't even know what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't yeah. trust the actual Dracula at the time, huh? <laughs> Yeah, but... Well, I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like I like him. He's a cool guy. Drac Drac is a cool guy. I just he's a little. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, don't know. I, that... uh, he he knows I'm joking. He knows I'm joking. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, no. But I didn't know what was in that that magical concoction he was drinking. So. I was now, like, this, this, is look, this, this uh, looks like a wolf. I don't. Or looks more like a cat. Uh, let's see. No, that. That looks like a wolf. It uh, looks like a wolf. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, is that is that size right? Size right? <laughs> hey man, that thing was it was big. <laughs> it was like out of nightmares, the wolf. So, but yeah, I think this year I want to try to get some original art. So I might actually start selling because original art, you know, is is. Is, is sometimes more expensive than buying, you know, a key comic. So mm. I do want to, maybe I'll sell some books just so I can fund that. Or maybe I'll, I'll go get a big book. I did get an ASM. So my biggest purchase at Heroes Con was I got an ASM 3, uh, sorry, ASM 50. Mm. I got, so I got that first, uh, first full appearance of the Kingpin. Um, so that was really cool. Um, I don't know if I have it in here somewhere, but that was, and I was originally going to get a, oh, I forgot I had one. I was originally going to, uh, going to get an ASM, uh, the two, what, what kind of books you collect, by the way? Marvel, DC, uh, what era? You know, modern or uh, Silver Age, Bronze Age? Uh, so I, I I buy a lot of modern. Uh, so if you you know go on my channel, uh, I do every yeah. week. I do the books coming out, and I do um. Yeah, I do the I do a preview of the books coming out, and then I do a re review and ho comic haul from each week. Um, and then 
I do some unboxings, and when I do the unboxings, those are usually older comics. So uh, I do stay within kind of the bronze, copper. I don't. I'll do some silver age. I don't go into the golden age very often. I don't really know enough about the golden age, honestly. Um, cool covers though, and and cool motifs, and you know, there's the rocket covers and the red covers and the bondage. Yeah, covers. I like all those. Yeah, myself, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. have enough of it myself. But I tend to stay with stuff from the. I'll do like seventies to to current to modern stuff. So, um, some of my most recent pickups. Uh, I picked this up recently. So, like I said, I got a I got an ASM fifty. Originally, I was going to get an ASM two thirty eight. I ended up not getting that, but I got it like right after the con was over. So I got the first Hobgoblin and the first Kingpin to add to my Spider Man collection. Uh, at Heroes Con this year, and I originally went. I was going to get an ASM two thirty eight or a Silver Surfer one. I got neither one. And instead, I got the ASM 50, which is fine. This year, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I do Marvel. I do DC. So I got this Batman Beyond. Ooh. Yeah. So this is uh, issue six. And this was a short run. But this is the first appearance of Ink. Who's, mm. uh, that's who's choking out, <laughs> you know, Batman Beyond. And th that's from the animated series. So I picked this up. Because Ink's actually a really cool character. Probably the second best. What's his power? Ink, uh, she is actually a shape shifting assassin. Oh, I see. I see. Black, all so, black. Yeah. yeah, she can take the form of pretty much anyone, kind of mimic them, and then very much like an ink blob can mm. do stuff like that. So I picked up her first appearance. This is from 99, though. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So I, I thought this was a cool book. It's one of the, the better Batman Beyond villains. I'd say top two, top three. Um it just seemed like a cool book to get. And it's a short run, so I think it's I want to say it was like maybe six or eight issues. Uh, are you more art guy or uh, story guy? This is actually a six issue. Um you know I kind of, I would say I'm actually more story based because I grew up uh, collecting comics in the, you know, the nineties and then the early two thousands. And that was all art based. And, and there's our part machine. Hey, what's up, AR? Aggressively uh, relaxing in the house. Aggressively react, uh, relaxing was that uh hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's why I know he's a part machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um. Yeah, so I I, I kind of got out of comics, I think, because of the whole '90s and early 2000 art, right? Um, there weren't a ton of like I I'm not a huge Rob Liefeld fan. I just don't think he's like I, he's I don't think he's a horrible artist, and I've seen him do some good work, but I've also seen him do some crazy, you know. Um, yeah, I mean. Uh... I mean, you can be perfect all the time, but yeah, no. I don't like his art at all. <laughs> no, even even those perfect ones, I just don't like it. Yeah, I don't think he's progressed a lot. Like, so guys like uh, Jim Lee, I've seen progression with their artwork, yeah. and I don't think that he's progressed a, a lot. Yeah, uh, that's so. a good point. Yeah, yeah. You know, even yeah. like Todd Todd McFarlane, um, he's progressed. You know, um, he he uh, he even switched mediums he went from you know pencil and pen to um media tab tablets so right he's he's even you know figured out how to do his art in different ways so what well, yeah he's not like he's not all foggy getting behind technology right so yeah. you know those are two guys who came out of that that era you know and then um like mark silvestri guys like that um Eric Larson. Who, I, who, who is your favorite artist? If you have to name one. Favorite artist. That's a hard one. Um, 
there's a couple of guys I gravitate to, honestly. Um, you know, if I had to like pick one hands down, I'd say the one that's influenced me the most is probably Todd McFarlane. Um, he just does an amazing Spider-Man. Mm. No, no pun intended, but it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> you know, amazing, so, amazing, spectacular. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah. So, so sometimes. If you, so if you're gonna name a hook artist, you're gonna say incredible, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, he does do a pretty incredible Hulk too. I mean, yeah. he did Hulk for a little bit. Okay. Um, but yeah, those. I think he. Like I, I can remember like buying his Spider-Man run. When I see his Hulk run in 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 bins, I'll buy that. Um, if I had to go like guys who kind of tilt more DC, I think like George Perez is a guy who I really like. Um, let's see. If if I'm thinking like current. DC, it's probably more like Greg Capullo, even though now he's with uh, Marvel. Um, Jim Lee, I, I love Jim Lee. I actually met him in, in the city um, outside of, you know, New York Comic Con. And uh, I just said hi. And he was like, hey. And uh, he was like, you going to the con? I was like, yeah. I was like, what are you, you out to, for lunch? And he's like, oh, actually, I'm going to go get some wine. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not looking for uh, food. He's like, if I find food, it's fine. But he's like, I'm I'm looking for wine. Okay. <laughs> so he was going somewhere to drink. Hey, Signature King, how are you? Signature King in the house. What's yeah. up? Um, so you know yeah. what? You're right. The, the freaking wolf is too big. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a freaking wolf. It's one of those. Uh, uh, What's that big old? What's those? Uh, I don't know pre prehistoric uh, wolves. What do you call oh, those? I know what you're talking about, but I can't. I can't think Better. of it. But yeah, it's the the caveman who used to fight those things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you though, the wolf, the wolf I had was like he was like King Kong size. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> It could have been King Kong's dog. Like that wolf is pretty big. Um, here's another recent pickup I got. Speaking of McFarlane. Oh, so, that's a cute book. Yeah, so I got the uh ASM 300. And you, you got a good price or 9.2. Yeah, I, I got a, a decent price. I got below uh FMV. So I checked around. I asked my local comic shop guy. And I was like, is this a good price point? So I, all I'll say is for this 9.2, I paid less than $600. So I think anytime you can pay less than six or $700 for a 9.2, 9.4. Oh, well, congratulations, man. That's awesome. Rabbit. So yeah, it was it's a good pickup. Um, at the price point, and I actually had the, the cash available, so I, I picked it up. Yeah. You have a big budget for Heroes Con? Right now? Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't even done my budget yet. I'd say right now my budget is negative. negative. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll yeah, it's we'll get we'll get started with uh saving and putting away for it. I mean I have enough to travel. So um last year I had a couple a couple hundred bucks uh you know to spend while I was there. This year, I have to figure out what my budget's going to be. Um, I know guys like Brian LCS are going to sell some books and stuff like that. So I might do the same thing just to raise funds. You know, they say that the hobby fund itself. So, oh, do you want to do hobby fund yourself? Um, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, um, no, I don't. I mean, I don't really sell my books, so I always buy books for giveaways, and then I buy books for myself, and and I'm like, oh, I'll buy an extra one to sell it, and then I just I put two away, you know, or, or I'll buy three books. And I'm like, oh, I'll buy some to sell, and then I don't sell it. So <laughs> that's 
that's kind of how it how it goes. So I've sold a couple of books in my lifetime. Um, you know, I sold uh, nothing too key. Sometimes I uh, so for New York Comic Con, I have sold books. Um, usually, what I do is um, I'll find people at at like my local comic shop, and I'll ask around. And I'll tell the, the the local comic shop owners, I was like, if anybody wants an exclusive, let me know. I'll pick it up, and and uh, you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll buy it for anybody, and uh, I'll bring it back. Um, and then I do a, a like a little New York Comic Con tax. So if I don't know you, <laughs> and you can't make it to the show, and uh, I buy a book. And the book selling for eighty dollars on the secondary market, or eighty dollars to buy it. Um, I'm gonna probably charge you. So if it's going for like eighty on eBay, and I bought it for like let's say forty, I'll probably sell it to you for like fifty five, sixty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Um, if if I paid eighty for it, I'm probably gonna charge you a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Book. Of course. Right. So, um, but you know that's that's kind of what I do. So I, I usually make I usually. For New York Comic Con, at least, I'm usually able to pay for my ticket and then some of some of my books with that. But that's the only time like I actively seek to sell. Oh, books. oh I see, I see. But and it's really just I don't even ship them. It's it's me just going to the local comic shop and saying, hey, if you know anybody who wants um an, an exclusive for New York Comic Con, let me know and I'll go pick it up. So. Hmm. Yeah, I do it, and there's you know there's no no fees, no fee bay. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. No, no tax. I mean, I don't have to worry about packaging it and shipping it. Right. Shipping. I I did years ago actually. Uh, when Spawn three hundred came out, um, I picked up. I don't have it here, but I I got the gold and the silver Spawn three hundreds, and they were limited at New York Comic Con. I think the Spawn gold was like 500 issues and the silver was like a thousand they printed of them so i managed to get a gold two golds actually and a silver two silvers and i sold I mean, one i sold you have one a, yeah you have a new con you have a san diego con you have all these different yeah. cons right right and and all those cons they do it every year. They have exclusive every year, and they've yeah. been doing it, been doing it for what twenty years now, 20, 30 years. Isn't there? When does the market get saturated and say, you know what, the 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 con exclusives are not worth it? When does that happen? Uh, it started to happen last year. I feel like um, a lot of people weren't as interested in the exclusives as they used to be um like so for example i was saying i bought these spawns spawn books uh the gold one i sold for about 350 dollars after the convention and the silver one i sold for about 150 dollars uh if i bought those same books today i feel like i'd get you know 50 bucks mm. so um the the crane s tape broke the camel's back you know i was there i uh, was i was at that c2e2 um was i at that one or was i i was there the year before that i don't know um the the was it black flag or whoever it was who was selling it um yeah it, it's it's the 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 market for exclusives isn't what it used to be it needs to be like a really good exclusive by a really awesome artist uh, and on a book that's like super hot, right? So I find now that the exclusives that are actually selling are, or that people gravitate to, are indies. So and like things by things by like James Tynan, um, those the the uh, those tend to go uh, James Tynan, Chip Zdarsky. Now these are writers we're talking about. Um, these guys are kind of driving books these days um and then the artists that work with them so tynan has like uh house of slaughter right in the department of truth those were books that i i saw that were frequently you know asked for um 
especially uh, Department of Truth. He had like a limited edition book there, and that sold out like day one. Um, Daniel Warren Johnson, Cali Comics, just yeah, he's driving some book sales. So there's indie indie books are definitely the ones that people are seeking now. I think just because they're they're more rare. Um, and and Star Wars books actually did pretty well last year, in my opinion. Like I saw a lot of people, I saw a lot of them sell out at the cons. So Star Wars exclusives, yeah, uh, exclusive covers mostly because they put characters on the cover that are either really popular or have never been on a cover before. Um, though the the market tends to, even if it's a first appearance on an exclusive, like a store exclusive, they don't usually uh, dictate those as um as like a first appearance but people still gravitate towards them still buy those covers um better stories as well yeah well cali yeah like guys like chip Zdarsky and tynan are writing some excellent stories these days so those guys are definitely and daniel warren johnson so the uh i don't know if you read the transformers yet but he, he's he's breaking my back with that transformers series like i'm not sure if i love it or hate it because as a kid, I was like traumatized when I saw Optimus Prime die in the movie. And <laughs> yeah, like traumatized. Like, you know, you watch your Saturday morning cartoons and nobody was dying. And then you watch this movie, and in like the first five minutes, like all everybody's like every character you knew from that first season of Transformers is like dead. And you're just like, what is happening? Um <laughs> So Daniel Warren Johnson's taking that and he's taking it to a new level and like Autobots are getting like dismembered and losing arms and Optimus already died like almost three times in the movie, in the book. And, <laughs> uh, and you know, some, some character, other characters are like, you know, getting squished and dying and humans are getting stomped on. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. And they're throwing in wrestling moves from like you yeah. a power bomb and <laughs> it's just <laughs> It's just crazy. So yeah. I I love it, but I also hate it. I'm like, I, I don't, like, I love reading it. I just hate, it's bringing back all these memories. It's like PTSD. It's giving me trauma. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, watch, uh, do you watch the latest X-Men series? Yeah. The animation? Seven. Yeah. I had to watch it uh, twice, twice already. Because the first time I watched it, I had a couple of beers. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I know I missed a few things. So okay. I went back and I watched it again. Um, yeah, I like. I really like it. I really like it. And the so tomorrow, I believe, new episodes drop on Wednesday. So there's going to be some new episodes tomorrow. How many episodes is going to be? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's eight, possibly ten. I, I'm not sure what the season entails. Usually, if on Disney Plus, uh, a season is eight to ten episodes unless it's like a really expensive show and then they do six yeah so. I, I, animation i mean it was okay but it wasn't like a, i don't think it didn't look expensive <laughs> animation was right i think they tried to like kind of keep the 97 vibe so it's yeah. like up upgraded graphics if you <laughs> well, they like upgraded the uh um i i like the story though i did i did i did not like magneto until like the end of the second episode. Mm. And then there was like a um, I only saw first episode, so okay. don't spoil it too much. <laughs> oh, but, but there's a, a cool scene. And I like what they did with Cyclops. Like Cyclops is actually so there there are some Cyclops defenders out there. I was never a big fan of Cyclops. I'm a Cyclops defender. All right. I, 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 I never <laughs> hated Cyclops. Um I thought from the animated series he was he wasn't that great. Well, so you know, see, I, I'm from like the 70s. I, I read Cyclops from the 70s. Right. And he was like a Captain America of uh, X-Men. Okay. So, you know, if uh, Captain America is Avengers captain. Right. And, and Cyclops, Cyclops was a, a captain of a, a X-Men, you know, the leader of the X-Men. So, yeah. but, uh, you know, like... A, What's her name? Uh, Lady Fantastic. Hey, Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> so I always have to give her a hard time. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually like what they did with him. Like, you know, the way he uses his uh, his lasers as a concussive blast and he can like 
he uses them to actually move around. Like yeah, yeah, that, that, I thought that was a pretty cool, a yeah. pretty cool concept. Although you know, if you using your face to impact, less of them using your face to pick yourself up. Right. You amount of force that's applied on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're gonna break your neck. He's gonna he's gonna have a, like a lot of what do you call concussion, right? <laughs> no, the what do you call, whiplash when you get oh whiplash. <laughs> I was just thinking he yeah. I was just like he's he's probably giving himself brain damage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and they say impacting right around your eyes too, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but uh. Yeah, I think that I mean I like it, and the internet has nothing you know, but good things to say. And I don't know. It just seems, just seems like everybody loves, um, X-Men 97. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Me too. I like, I like the first episode. Um, uh, looking forward to watching next episode. Yeah. The, the, uh, how about the, uh, Dune? Do you, do you watch new Dune yet? Uh, I have not seen the new Dune movie, but I, I probably should go watch it. I've heard nothing but good things. My um, I have a, a cousin who works um, in the film industry, and I think they've already seen the film like five times, and they can't stop talking about it. So, I watched the Dune uh, 1 yesterday just so that I'd be ready to watch it, Dune 2. That was so good. Dune 1 was so good. that I Yeah, Dune 1 was good. I mean, they like a lot of. I mean, I, I knew it, but you know, they killed. I read the book, so people. I read the book, so yeah. And then, yeah, and then you get into uh, the second one has, uh, from what I understand, a lot. Like the first one is a good movie, visually great movie, uh, good story. If you read the books, yeah, you know what's gonna happen. Um, it's just a little slow. Mm. Was it slow for you? For me, it felt a little slow, but you know, it was fine. And then I've heard that the, the second one, the action really picks up. So, well, yeah, well, sort of. I mean, way they divide up the uh, book, way they divide up the book. Uh, right. uh, I mean, yeah, I could see why the more action is on the second part of the second part. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I, it depends if you're talking about Disney Plus or like the original Transformers had something like 98 episodes for season one or something like that, which is crazy because there's only 52 weeks in a year. So how'd you get 98 episodes? But <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't um, I guess like when they did like the Disney afternoon school after school specials, there was like 16 episodes to a cartoon. But um X Men ninety seven. I just googled. Maybe they it. did every Tuesday and Thursday shows or something. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was twice a week, but um, except for holidays. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. The uh, X Men ninety seven. I I just looked it up. Is ten episodes. It said so. Uh, do you know if it's hand drawn or is it all? Uh, is it all computer graphics? I don't think anything is um, hand drawn anymore. Hand drawn, like not especially not cartoons. It just I think it just takes too long to hand draw the cells. I think that's just all computer, and they fill in the backgrounds with you know motion an animation or something. But yeah, I don't like the the Simpsons, right? That's been around for 35, 36 years or something. Like that. I don't even know. It's it's in the thirties. Uh, I think somewhere around season 16, they switched from hand-drawn to to computer-drawn. And uh, it you can see a difference, honestly, if you watch the two seasons. Like, the backgrounds and the colors just look a little different. Like, the characters didn't change too much, but just... And the clarity, I think, because, you know, TVs went from, whatever, 720 to, like, 1080, and then 4K, right, right. 4K, so... Um, yeah, now, yeah. I, I, and I could see people more used to digital drawing than a hand... I mean, especially on animations. Yeah. But, I, but I, I, I would love to see... Uh, I mean, Japanese animations are still hand-drawn, right? Yeah, I, so I think anime, 
Uh, the, you know, the thing is, too, is in the States, we get a lot of the stuff later than, um, you know, they the anime and everything is released, you know, as it's done out there. And then we get it, like, after it's been dubbed and everything a couple of years later. So, um, like, things like Dragon Ball Z existed, I think, for, like, 10, 15 years before it was brought to the, the U.S. So. Right. I think yeah, but yeah, those those are still. I think they still do it old school. You can just tell when you watch it. A lot of them are. There's a special feeling to those. I don't know. It just looks different, but it's cool. I looked up the Simpsons too. They they sees there's 35 seasons of the Simpsons. <laughs> so 35. they've been around longer than you know some people are have been alive. It's crazy. And Simpson don't feel like I mean I mean it doesn't feel like it could be that could be sell John, <laughs> but uh, I could I could see why. I wonder if there's a time when then they could mix it up, mix it up a little bit, do a little little hand drawn, little little digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, and I you know maybe they do they could do you know the backgrounds. Or so, uh, a lot of times of are digital, and then you know they can draw in the characters on top of those. But yeah. all right, man. <laughs> Who knows? Getting, let's, uh, you got anything you wanna uh, you know talk about? I don't know. What are you looking forward to at Heroes Con? Me? Yeah. You know, I, I only purchased like a I only purchased like a few books that Heroes got. I was expecting to go there and buy, you know, go to you know, you know, dollar bins or something, but uh, yeah. but uh, I just got some arts from Mike Grell, you know, actual OG arts from Mike Grell, mm. and uh, signature books from Dave Nakayama. And that's it. And the rest of the time, I, I was like spending time with you guys. You know, yeah. <laughs> that was that was a big feature for me. It was a, a meeting all the YouTube fellow YouTubers. Yeah, I did some bin diving while I was there. I got like I filled. I almost filled up like a short box when I was. Oh there. yeah! Wow, that was yeah. fun. I did some dollar bin diving. The if you really, if you really want to do. Dollar bin diving, though, I think Sunday is the best day to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I probably reserve the. Uh, I figure out if I'm going to any con near me, I'm just going to go on Sunday. You know, right. because all I'm going to do is dollar bin diving anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and on Sunday, because it's like already been three days, they usually um, like discount stuff. So it's like, you know, if you get 10 books, they're. You know, seventy-five cents a piece instead of a dollar a piece or whatever. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, I mean, of, sometimes they, uh, hey, what if I just buy the whole short box worth of stuff and they say, yeah. okay, you know, we we charge you by the pound or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of times they're looking just to get rid of it. I've been to cons where guys are like, they're like, you know, name a price and you know, we'll 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 work on it because they're like they don't want to. All that stuff they've got to pack up. They got to yeah, put yeah, in the car work. and. I, I, mean, I, I sold stuff at the. Uh, I mean, I used to sell computer parts and laptops at the. That kind of setup conventions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You don't want. You don't want to take none of it home. Right. You know, it's, even if you sell it at, at cost. Right. If, if you had enough sale, you mm -hmm. know. If you had enough sale, then you you want to get rid of it, right? So that, that you could buy next inventory. Got it. But uh, well, I, I can imagine with computers, you're trying to turn, you're trying to sell that as quickly as possible. Yeah, computers are upgraded. Like they, they, they don't. It's like selling fruits. If you hold on for too long, it, it rot in mm -hmm. your hand. It, it rots in your hand. So, but uh, then you can't give it away. <laughs> and you can't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> they charge you for trashing it, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, but, recycle. Yeah. Oh, man. This this year, I probably since uh, Roger, I'm going to room with Roger. Mm -hmm. 
we'll, uh, we got a room at Hilton. Hilton, we could, right? We can find a room at the, the West. I heard a lot of people actually are choosing to stay at the Hilton this year than the, the Westin. Uh, some people said because it has a pool, but I was like, when do you have the time to go to the pool? Yeah, you I don't wake up, you go to the convention, you go eat dinner. By the time you get back to the hotel, the pool's closed. Yeah, or well, uh, I'm too drunk. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. so in, in that case, a nice dive into the pool if it's cold to wake you back up. You go. No, in that case, you dive in the pool, you drown. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you just go in the the, the shallow end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you're drunk. You're not in that sharp mind anyway. If you yeah. if you're drunk and you 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 you're near the pool, you're not in the right mindset anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what, Sunday. I'm gonna reserve for that. Yeah. Uh, I probably I'm probably gonna do what I did at the. I'm gonna to try to do. I lost a freaking camera, man. I lost camera. Oh, that's uh, it. Yeah, I, I flew from DC to Seattle just a week ago. Uh huh. And uh, lost, yeah. And I lost. I put my camera in my fanny pack. I lost about seven hundred dollars worth of equipment. Oh man. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, I'm waiting for the lost and found, but I'm I'm okay. not expecting anything. Not uh, not expecting to turn up. Did you leave it on the plane? No, I left it in the bathroom oh. at the concourse. Oh. And I, I I was using my fanny pack, so I go, I put all my other stuff in one one corner, and then I, I was putting the fanny pack in this corner. I'm going, hey, oh. uh, don't forget the. I told myself, don't forget the fanny pack. Don't forget right. the fanny pack. I poop. I <laughs> came out. <laughs> I forgot the penny. Forgot the penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, but uh, yeah. Well, um, hey, let's close up the shop. It's getting a little late. Uh, late for both of us. Yeah, yeah. What time is it over there? Eleven. I got eleven thirty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Let's I mean, close up the shop. Here's what I got. Probably, I got so far. <laughs> I need a. I need to know what your thing is on the head. Oh here. Yeah, because I, I put a uh, blank on it. Oh, uh, it just says Carhartt, but you could put a ten. Just put the, the 10. <laughs> put the ten on there. <laughs> that's what I got so far. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I should make. I should make a beanie like that. Just have the ten. The ten. <laughs> I also have a 0. 0.5 pin. So oh, I, yeah, yeah. I drew a 0. 0.5 on the last day. I drew a 10 on the first day. I was actually the first pull of the so a Heroes Con. I was actually the first person to pull one of those pins. Right. On the very first pull, I pulled that 10. And what do you want, by the way? I forgot you want something. That, I got a uh, Alex Ross signed slab. Cool. Like a 9.8 Alex Ross signed slab. It was uh, what? Next Avengers book and it has they're speech. doing that again. Uh, I need to go do. I, I had in by the time I got there, they only had a free sweater. Free, yeah. yeah I got the sweater was, too. Huh? I got the sweater too. I pulled the nine eight for the sweater on my second day, and then the last day I pulled a, a point five, which you get nothing for the point five. But they gave me like a free promo card or something. So, oh, you get different things for different different. Uh, it. Yeah, different pins. So the the pin I had, I don't think I have it in here. Um, it's it was it said ten gem mint, but it was uh, sparkling. It was shiny. It had the, uh -huh. the glitter. So the glitter gets you an autograph book. Oh, uh, all right, all right. I put freaking glitter in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the glitter. <laughs> uh, a regular ten without the glitter gets you just a slab. And then a nine eight gets you a hat or a uh, sweater. I I got the I I just put a little point of a shine ah. right there. Oh, look at that! <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, each pin gets you a different different thing. Um, for so at, at New York Comic Con because it happens in October, they did like a Halloween one. And if you got a glow in the dark pin, 
you got you got some you got like a slab for a glow in the dark and if you got like a not a glow in the dark you got like a a sweater or something a hoodie cool cool so and like the glow I, in the I, dark had like a little ghost on it i didn't even participate on uh, they just had a sweater left over at the uh, sunday i think because, yeah, there you go. because you guys complained about not having anything <laughs> so they had a sweater <laughs> So I just picked it up, but it was two sizes too big. Too big. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> but uh, uh, this time I, I, won't, I won't miss that. And now that's that was the first thing I actually did when I went to Heroes Con uh, last year. Was I went right to the CGC booth because I saw they had like free giveaways. So I went and I asked the guy, and I was like, "What are you guys giving away?" Actually, I had some questions too about submitting, which it was just like normal submissions. There was nothing crazy about it but um yeah i got like you, take a picture. you submit a lot of books you submit a lot of books uh what did i submit no i i brought i think i submitted four books while i was there and i submitted oh, them they weren't yeah i don't think any of them were books that got autographed or anything like that because i didn't want to go get a witness and then wait for the witness and so they were just that, sound, like, that sounds like another chore man that sounds like another chore there yeah, so I just got, you know, I just got my books. Some some guys they actually said they had witnesses at the the booth, so um, they they've gotten better with that because usually you have to if you want to get a book slab that's been signed, you have to go get one of their representatives and bring them with you to the booth. So that's usually a process. Um, last year they started to do it. This year maybe they'll do it more. They just put like if it's a big name. So if you go on like you know Daniel Warren Johnson, they'll just have a guy there, and they'll just be standing there. Or if it's like Scotty Young, they'll have a guy. Maybe they'll do it with um, Chris Claremont. They did it last year at New York Comic Con, and like Peach Momoko, never <laughs> like she always had a signature guy there. Um, same thing with like Jenny Frizen. There was always somebody there who could witness your signature, so you didn't even have to go walk and find some money. <laughs> e man is doing a mail call and typing in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, E man. <laughs> Promiscuous yeah. time traveler in the house. What's up, E man? Doing doing double duty. All right, E man. Thanks for the promo, bud. <laughs> right. I do yeah. that sometimes on Monday nights because uh, I watch um, the top ten alternatives with uh, twenty two comics right before yeah. my show. I do my live, mm -hmm. and then he sometimes he does a, a giveaway or a duck. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, I'm starting my show, but I'm still watching his show, and I'm like, wait up, guys! I'm I'm trying to see if I won anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you, that's a pretty sneaky, bud. <laughs> so. Not very, not loyal at all. Not loyal. <laughs> Even on, yeah, even on my show, I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's fun. But I'm looking forward to Heroes Guy. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys. I'm definitely looking forward to having a beer with you. Um, hang, I'm looking forward to you know hanging out. We'll figure out how we're gonna walk the floor. Uh, figuring out you know if I'm gonna stop on my way, you know, stop at your place, load up the the box, and then we <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I'm excited to go. I'm excited to see everybody. Um, you know, um, last year it was it was fun. Like uh, I met a, a lot of cool guys, and you know, I had lunch with like people who I barely hung out with, but we were all in the same spot. And it was like, oh, let's have lunch together, and you know, it was it was fun. We all yeah, ate. Yeah, it was, was, uh, it was amazing. I mean, uh, I was telling Digo Jim and. No, not Digo Jen. Uh, I was, I guess, I was telling them to Digo Jen and John, but uh, uh, hi, Leah. I was telling hi, Leah. How long was since? I mean, I'm over six. I'm sixty-one now. So, mm. uh, how long was since uh, I've been with the, uh, you know, people that I knew that I could call friends? How long ago since I had like? 30, 40, 50 of them, you know, uh, it's, it, I mean, it's uh, unreal. I mean, maybe I could date back myself to high school years. Mm. I was pretty lonely in high school years. College years, uh, maybe I had 20, 30 friends, mm -hmm. but uh, people I could call friend at, 
at this age, you know, it's I mean, it's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. Right. I'm I'm, pretty, I'm thankful for it. So, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. I you know I, I've noticed that as I got as I gotten older, like the friend list is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. You know, yeah, you grow apart from people or they disappear or you know pass or move on or you know every, right or everybody, everybody right, moving on family. Yeah, you know, people have family, so things just happen, and your your friend list gets progressively shorter. So yeah, and this is like a, we already are long distance friend friends to begin with. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so pretty far. Yeah, yeah. But no. then you get to meet people on, at the Heroes Con. That was pretty. That was a pretty awesome, pretty awesome thing. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, and that was cool. Um, who else? Uh, uh, who? I, I'm drawing a blank on. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I had lunch with comic book man Andy. Um, <laughs> I call him Biggie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I was. It was me, him, um, the comic vet, and there, uh, somebody else uh, was there. Um, I forget who the the fourth person is right now. It's, but we were eating, and somebody like walked by us, behind us, and we could hear them. And they were like, "Hey, that's uh, Comic Book Andy and and Cup of Comics." And <laughs> like they recognized who we were, and we were like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. I, I I think mostly the the recognizing part came from fellow YouTubers. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So I, I I haven't experienced yet where the people were recognizing me out out in the wild. No, right? No, I haven't yet. But... <laughs> well, yeah, that's I have a shirt that just says "Cup of Comics" and it's got my name. It's got like this on it, so I walk around with it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, you know, like when I was in kindergarten, they used to put a t name tag on, you know. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah but I, I do need to get some uh that reminds me i need to get some stickers so i can give them oh out yeah i don't have stickers i still don't have stickers oh. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not in the program yet <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the best thing to, to have is a pocket full of stickers and you just <laughs> the book because everybody else everybody else is on youtube hands you back a sticker <laughs> so everybody's just giving each other stickers yeah, that's why I had I ended up drawing cards. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think um Brian LCS this year is doing coasters. Yeah, yeah. He has he has coasters this year, which yeah. which is something I thought about. I have it on a list of things to get coasters. Mm. You know what I got? I got these by accident and I never gave them out because I just didn't like them. I got these keychains. Mm. <laughs> so you I have what? to hook it's got like a, it's got a chain and you could put your keys on them, but I ordered these by accident because I, I went to order stickers and I think I pressed acrylic, whatever they called these things. And they came in, in the mail and I was like, great. Now I've got these plastic, like, <laughs> <key chain." laughs> so I might buy some like magnets, put them on the back and then just hand them out to people as magnets mm -hmm. or I have to key. I have to key stuff to the, the, the chain with the, the loop. So. Yeah. But I ordered like, I think I have like 50 of these and I was like, I don't know what to do with them. I don't like them. I thought they were stickers. <laughs> <laughs> just give it away at the heroes. Con. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's uh, more. I, everybody's I, getting one of these. <laughs> I, 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 maybe I'll make a car. Maybe I'll make a plane car or something. That'd be cool. Do like a sketch card of something and then yeah, just pull it a day. Yeah. Put a worm in there and done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'm going to head out. <laughs> head out. Go to sleep. Yeah. All right. It sounds good. Uh, it was fun. We can yeah, do it again. Thanks for, thanks for coming up. Thanks yeah. for joining. Oh, anytime. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You got anything coming up? Uh, what do I have coming up? Uh, tomorrow I'll be on um, I'll be on Psychotronic Squirt Guns channel, Aaron, um, at four twenty Pacific time, 
I wonder if he did that on purpose, 420 Pacific time. I don't know. But it's 720 Eastern time. So mm. that's the time I'll be on on the East Coast. Uh, and we'll be doing um, – we just show books, really. It's it's another cover – it's not even a cover battle. It's just um, – I'm the only one, I think, on the show, though, who who buys modern books. So you'll, oh, probably okay. see, you'll probably see my new comic haul, and then everybody else has got older books. Um, doing that. Also, tomorrow – Tomorrow night, I have a video of books that I went to an Ollie's Comics in Massachusetts. <laughs> so it's the hey, only Beckerman. Ollie's I know. Hey, Beckerman. Beckerman's the reason I have an ASM 300. Also. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll that, that video will be dropping. And then later in the week, Friday or Saturday, I usually do my new comic book day haul video. And then usually Monday, next Monday, will be the previews of the comics coming out for the, the week. So that's that's kind of what I'm doing. That's that's it. And I'm here. I'm on here today. How did I get in this, this show? <laughs> Those so of you miss. <laughs> <laughs> rewind. So. Rewind and watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for coming up. Preach. It was fun. Just Thank you. Just hang around, man. Just, uh, yeah. I'm and anytime, you know, anytime if you want, I'll come back on, even if I'm not the one being interviewed, if you just want a third person hanging out in, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that'd yeah. be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm always I'm always down as long as yeah, Beckerman, you're going to Heroes Con this year. By the way, who's going to Heroes Con this year in the chat? I wish I could see everyone at Heroes this year. Yeah, what's up, Beckerman? You're not going? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Heck yeah, I wish. Wish I could see everyone at Heroes this year. I hope so. Um, yeah, who is going? Uh, ben uh, is going? Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. I think uh, Kelly Comics might. No, I don't think Kelly. I know going. AR is going. Aggressively relaxing will be yeah, there. Yeah, aggressively relaxing. Matt will. Uh, Matt will. John, Matt. John and uh, Digger Jim, I think they're going. Yeah, Matt uh, said he was coming. Um, oh, I'm looking back at the list. A comic bookworm was coming. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I got. I, I already, I already bought the tickets. I already bought the hotel. I mean, I already reserved the hotel. Yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah. The only thing I haven't done, and I've I've been on Airbnb. Is go. I'm just waiting to see if uh, one of my friends from out here is coming. Oh um, man, Becca man. I'll oh. be there this year. Oh man. And this was supposed to be the year I got to hang out with Beckerman. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to interview Beckerman last year, so I wanted to interview him this year. But, uh, Come on, Becker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's a. There are a few people who have who have dropped out or aren't coming, and then there's a. Is few, a Poke and Joe's going? Poke and Joe going? Poke and Joe uh poke and joe on his uh last time i watched his channel um he said he was going oh so good okay at the end of the at the end of the video he said i'll see you guys at uh heroes con okay good so it's still uh while's away though it's middle of june it's during yeah. father's, father's day weekend so um uh, yeah joe will be there good good yeah i i i think the dj links um uh, legion and Rob Festec, all all those guys are going. Uh, yeah, I think they're doing a, a booth for C three comics. Yeah, Canada. yeah, they're doing big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they'll that, be there. I think Izzy, Izzy NYC, who wasn't there last year, he's going to be there. Okay. Um, who else? I think Roscoe's going. I think Matt is going. Comics by the Bay. Yeah. Um, uh, trying to think who else, uh, oh, Mar uh Marcus Circumstances. I oh, Marcus is coming, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, Brian LCS yes, is coming, he wasn't there last year. Yeah, Brian LCS yes, was moving to South Carolina last year. We were actually talking about carpooling, and then it was supposed to be me, Brian, and uh, CJ, right? Yeah, and then uh, Brian decided he wasn't going. And then CJ and I didn't communicate. CJ flew and I drove. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I'm driving this time, and I think Roger's flying into DC. I'm not sure, mm. but uh, uh, 
So let me let us know and then we'll, okay. Do you and you guys going on Friday or Thursday? We're driving in Thursday. Thursday? Okay. Yeah. Day before. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. I always like to get there the day before because it gives you a chance to settle in and and uh, you know just get get acclimated and then you're not like oh no I'm gonna miss the con because I'm stuck in traffic. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It's, it's, it, you have to get there Friday, at least with the hotels, right? I mean, yeah. because your check-in time is at three or four or whatever, and right. Yeah, you have, yeah. And the, the same, con opens at in the morning, so. It's kind of the same way with Airbnbs. Sometimes you can get a early check-in, like one or two, but most of the times they want you to check in at three. Last last uh, year, some it was weird because not weird, but my GPS told me I was going to get there at like four, right? And uh, so I, I let the the Airbnb person know I was like, hey, I'm not going to get there till like four four thirty, and they're like, all right, no problem. And then I. When I got to North Carolina, it was like 2.45. And I was like, hey, I'm here. And they were like, <laughs> oh. They were like, I can probably meet you at like 3.30. So I was, I had to wait like 45 minutes. But like traffic, usually I expect to be late because of traffic. And somehow traffic just opened up. Like it was like, mm. and then yeah. I arrived like. It was opposite for me. I, I arrived there like a couple hours late. Yeah. Something about 90 Highway 90 bridge or somewhere I'm getting uh, traffic jam. But, uh, all right. All right, man. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for coming by chat in the chat. Appreciate y'all. Uh, go check out my boy, my loyal wolf. Oh, couple comic will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, have a good night. Have a good night. In stream. Yeah. <laughs>